Good morning everybody. Today is our junior church anniversary and so we're going to be celebrating our junior church with an all-age message which is called You Are the Light of the World. One of the very strange things about this coronavirus lockdown time is that we're not able to meet together as a church family and we, we really miss that but one of the sad things is not being able to meet together with the children and young people on Sundays or during the week and we want to tell you all today that we love you and we really miss you and we do hope you're all keeping well and busy and that your families are well too and we are keeping you all in our prayers. Today's reading comes from Matthew chapter 5 starting to read at verse 14. These are the words of Jesus especially for you today. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Children and young people, today you are the light of the world. I've printed a picture of a city on a hill. Jesus says a city on a hill cannot be hidden. Have a look at this and see if you agree. That really is a city built on a hill, isn't it? And there's no way that you can pretend that that city isn't there. I mean, imagine what it would look like at night with all the lights shining. You'd be able to see it for miles and miles around. And Jesus is saying we are like that, or we should be. We should be clearly visible for miles around as people of faith living in our society today. He also says, you are the light of the world. Nobody lights a candle and then hides it away under a bucket. Let's see what happens when we light a candle and then hide it away. This is a little bit complicated. I'm going to just turn off these lights so we can perhaps, I hope, see a little bit better what's happening. I'm going to light a candle try to show you what I'm doing. Oops. Can we see? Oh, there we are. Yeah, that's better. There we are. Okay. I've lit a candle and now you may have done this experiment at home. I'm going to cover it up with a glass so I hope you can still see it and we'll see what happens when I cover it up. Ready? Nothing's happened yet. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. That was just a few seconds, wasn't it? What do you think? About maybe about 10 seconds before the candle just went out. And I didn't blow it out, I didn't touch it. I wonder if you know why the candle went out when I covered it up. Yes. That's right. Candles need air. Flames need air to keep burning. They need oxygen to feed them so that they can keep on burning. And when I covered up that candle, even though we could see it through the glass, it wasn't very long before it completely went out. 
Now we all need to be lights in this world. And we need light, don't we, to be able to see what we're doing. It must be very, very hard when you lose the light, when you can't see, and there are plenty of people around who know how that feels. I'm just starting to know how it feels because these days I do need my glasses if I want to read. So I'm becoming a little bit more understanding and sympathetic to people who can't see. I'm going to do a little experiment now, which you can try this at home if you have time. You try and draw a picture, a simple picture here, see if you can tell what I'm drawing. There we are, not too bad is it that? Oh I better put the, the hole in the middle because at Perry Rise we always like to remember that we have to see each other through the cross, don't we? Okay, well that's not too bad as a drawing of a cross. Now I'm going to make it a little bit harder for myself, okay? And you can try this as well. I expect you'll be able to do this better than me. Here we go. Let's see if I can still do it without looking. Okay, everybody, are you ready for this? Now, where's the pen? Where's the paper? Let's see. You can tell me how I'm getting on. Oh, oh yeah, no, I'm sh I think from, from what I can tell, I'm drawing a really brilliant cross. That's what it feels like. Let's just put the hole in the middle as well. Okay, how does that look? Ah! <laughs> oh dear, that did not come out how I was hoping, did it? Well, I think <laughs> that I've demonstrated that without light, it's really difficult to see what we're doing. We may think that we're doing a brilliant job, but in reality, it's nowhere near as good as we were hoping. And so let's just think for a moment about Jesus' words to us today. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. If we believe in Jesus, then we need to try to take our courage and our faith and to let ourselves be seen in what we say and in what we do, to let other people see that we believe in something really great, bigger than ourselves. And that's where we get our strength from. And also, we are the light of the world. We are like Jesus, he's the light. We don't want our candle, our little light, to go out because it's covered up. Jesus says, don't light a candle and put it under a bucket well, I'm going to try that now and see if you can tell what I'm saying. Are you ready for this, friends? Let's see if you can tell what I'm saying. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. That's my bucket. <laughs> and it's difficult to hear what somebody is saying, I think but also we can't even really see them. The person who's hiding under a bucket can't really be a light in the world. And we want to be lights in the world and not keep the good news that we have to ourselves. So here we go. For a candle to burn, it needs oxygen, it needs to be fed. Make sure, dear children and young people, that you are feeding your faith, especially now when we can't meet together in our groups. Try to remember to read about Jesus and to say your prayers and to look to him when you're feeling down or anxious and to thank him when things are going well. In this way you'll be giving oxygen to your light, you'll be feeding your faith. You are the light of the world and try not to hide your light under a bucket. Take your courage.
from the Lord and your confidence and speak up for him when you can and show how much he loves the world through your own kind actions when you can. And I'm sure that you will all shine and shine and shine. And we look forward to gathering together again so that we can see you shine and encourage you once more. Shall we pray? Father God, we thank you so much for our junior church. More than 120 years of witness among the children and young people. We thank you for them, Lord, and pray today that you will bless and strengthen them all. May they know how valuable they are, how precious they are to you and to us. We thank you, Lord, for all the junior church leaders and helpers and all those who usually run midweek activities for children and young people at church and pray that you will bless and strengthen and encourage them too. Lord, we pray that you will keep us all in good health and our families and those we love. We pray for those who are studying at school or at home and especially for those who are doing assignments or who should be doing exams right now. Oh Lord, we pray that you will be close to them and help them to concentrate, to focus on their studies and not to be discouraged, but to work hard and enjoy what they're doing. We pray for all those who are making decisions about schools, about when they should reopen, that you will guide them and give them wisdom. Lord, we also pray about the coronavirus situation. We pray, Lord, that you will intervene. Help us to be wise in the decisions we make and to trust you, to listen to your voice speaking to us at this time. And Lord, we pray that those who are sick will be healed. Those who are sad will be comforted. Those who are at risk will be protected. And we pray that when the time is right, we will all be able to gather again together and give you thanks, Lord. We entrust one another and especially our children and young people to you now, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all. Bye for now. <laughs>